What is going on guys? Welcome to Greggles TV. This video is sponsored by Silvox and the Silvox 4K outdoor television. It can handle the weather elements. It's a smart television with Google TV built into it. It's 4K. And remember, I said weather elements, right? Why do I have a glass of water? Can your TV do this? It would probably break, right? Let's be honest. But this one, it doesn't. So without further ado, let's take a closer look. Now let's check out the remote first. So here you go. It is a smart remote. It has the Google Assistant button at the very top there. So if I want to talk into this and ask it something to show up on my television, I can. I'll show you that. What was the score of the Celtics game? It's gonna load up just a moment here. Celtics won 110 to 97 there you go, I get all my smart information, turn all my lights, all that stuff. But then you also have these nice buttons right here that would allow you to open up certain apps really quick. If I wanna open up YouTube real quick, I'll just tap that button and it will automatically open up YouTube, but it will also do Netflix, Google Play Store, and also Prime Video. You have your menu, your home buttons, all your controllable elements down below. So very useful, easy to use remote. Now, what's cool about this television is that it is a full metal body design. It's literally metal all the way around from the front to the sides to the entire back of the television. Also, it has fans all around the TV. I can actually hear it and feel it. So if you're in a really hot environment, it's going to blow all the hot air that it's producing, not only from the television, but also that's radiating onto the television and just keep this thing nice and cool. Vents everywhere. Very, very nice. So you get the fan vents right here and you also get them on the other side as well. Now on the back of this television, there is a panel here and some foam to protect the ports, but you can Undo the screws on the back here. Underneath what you'll find is you're gonna find three HDMI ports, uh, audio ports, eARC port, all that stuff on there to allow you to get what you need to connect to the television if need be. Now this TV does run Google TV, so you get all the elements that you would want within the TV for apps and everything that you'd want. Have the Google Play Store to download basically any app and a lot of games in here that you can play on the television so whatever you want to watch or pretty much play on here you'll be able to with this smart tv and just running around the os you see you also have um, your things that you could watch per each app if you go to the very top you have your discover section will basically help you discover what to watch you also have your apps section of apps that you've downloaded and then you can also see that on that home tab too if you want to see the apps that you have downloaded on the top right you have your input so you can tap on this and select if you want to switch to a different input you can see that on the left there and then you also, just going back a step, you can connect to your Wi-Fi, but then you can go into settings as well. Under settings, if you go into device preferences, you have your about section. If you go into about, you can go into check for system updates. Also under device preferences, you can come in here and uh, mess with your display and sound and change your home screen, see how much storage you have left, which by default you have about, it's about nine gigs free. Now it is a pretty bright day, so I wanna show off the display. You've been watching it the whole time. You've been able to see it the whole time. It's a, and it's not a sunny day out, but it's still a bright day. So I wanna play a video for you real quick to give you a figure of what you can potentially wanna see when you're watching video. And you can play video up to 4K on this television. It is a 4K smart television. There I am right there talking on the screen. You can see me awesome, no problem at all with seeing me and then let's turn on the volume let's get into it get closer with my microphone has to do with this that's right we're already seeing some preliminary nothing phone to specs now nothing phone one was an international release didn't come out in america it like it did eventually but now it does get loud enough so you can hear it now if you want to improve the sound they do sell a sound bar that you can pick up or you can pretty much hook up any sound bar that you would want with this to get even better, better sound. Here's a look at some of the viewing angles. We'll go around.
and obviously sunny and it's a little bit reflective and straight on definitely is still the best look but you can still you still can see everything from the side there now remember it is an outdoor tv but you can also use it indoors if you wish and it can withstand the weather elements which is fantastic because if it's really warm or really cold or it rains it can handle that it's ip 55 weather rating and you can enjoy this indoors outdoors it's actually not even that heavy for an outdoor tv i was actually able to carry this completely myself 55 inch tv from where i had it my inside to outside and set it up out here now you can mount it if you want they sell mounts or you can get your own mount uh, off of amazon if need be and you can put a stand on it or mount it on like a, a wall or something so check it out link down below thanks for watching guys and have a great day peace